show you my arrangement for a cigar box guitar of Take 5 by Dave Brubreck. It can be a bit of an intimidating song because it's in 5-4 time, um, but 5-4 time doesn't have to be a big problem. The accents are the 1 and the 4, so if you practice sort of saying to yourself 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5. If you do that for a bit, you'll get used to it and everything just sort of falls into place. If you don't want to count it, you don't have to, just sort of remember how the melody goes and it'll, it'll still work just fine. I'm tuned to G, low G, D in the middle, G on the high string. The first part of the song is from G to D, G minor to D minor actually. But we don't have to worry about the minor part because we're tuned one, five, one, so we don't have a third, so we don't have to worry about it. So basically thumb and two fingers. <laughs> That's how you do the G part, and the D part is on 7. That's your 4-5. I'll go a little slower. Okay, now the uh, first lick comes in after a G minor chord. Instead of going to the 7, you go here. I use my second finger usually. 5. I don't use the open string because it's just easier, because I'm going to use my first finger on three on the first string, second on five, third on six, the little finger on seventh. So you go straight up and straight back down. So once again on the five here. Touch. feel and there's a cool lick it starts here on the second fret with the first finger you hammer on to the third pull off and pull off again to zero that's then three five on the middle Similar lick here on the third fret of the middle string, hammer onto the five, pull off, pull off again, then go here to five, slide up to seven. So here's the first part. Did that slow enough? Then you go back and you start the song again, kind of. We just do the rhythm thing twice, and then you start the lick again. Now you reverse those two licks. Do that one first, and this one second. So there's not really any new information there. You just do it one way the first time and the other way the second time. Okay, that brings us to part two of the song, which starts up on the 12th fret on the first string. 12, 15, 12 on the first string, 13 on the middle. And then there's a run starting on 10, 10, 12, 13, 14. And 
numbers down in the tenth position, we start right there on the first string. 10, 14, 10, 12 on the middle, and then uh, do this similar run, but we drop down to 8, and that's 8, 10, 11, 12. And then we uh, on, from the 8th fret, we go 8 on the high to 12, back to 8, and then 10 on the middle, and then uh, 8, 10, 12. Sometimes I stick in that chromatic, chromatic note. You can do different things there. All right. So the second time we play it, exactly the same. Then we do a quick 12 on the middle, 10 on the high, 8, 7, and then a trill. Then you're back to the beginning of the song. Do that a few times, and then there's a little thing I stole from Chet Atkins when he used to do it um, to finish the song off. I go up to fret eight, do the rhythm twice, and then once on seven, and then do it twice on five, once on three, twice on two, once on seven. Again. And that just gives us a nice little, you know, ending for the song. And then I ended off uh, with G minor add nine chord. So I hit the open G, hammer on to the third fret, which is a minor third. Hit the middle string, which is the five. Then I hit the high string, which is the root, but I hammer it down, which makes a nine. And then I take my right hand and bring it back to the tonic by playing a G on the middle string, which is the fifth fret. So provided I do right, it should sound like this. Makes a nice little suspension to end the song with. Hope you found that helpful. Have a great day. Bye.